I face a daunting dilemma every single summer. To saddle or not to saddle? Let me back up. When a rooster and hen are in love, they express that love physically. When a rooster and hen really love each other a lot, they express that physical part a lot. And a hen can end up with disheveled feathers to start, and eventually with broken and missing feathers, and finally with bare backs. This, of course, is why you want to put a mating saddle on your more amorous hens to protect those back feathers from further harm. And ultimately, to protect the skin on the back from breaking open and bleeding and potentially getting infected or even cannibalized by other chickens. Yes, it happens. <laughs> What about when it's 110 degrees outside and your chickens are really struggling in the heat? Is it dangerous for your hens to be wearing this extra heavy material? And this is why I say, I face a daunting dilemma every single summer. To saddle or not to saddle? And the answer to this question won't be the same for everyone. You have to weigh the risks for your flock. Your answer will depend on how hot your climate is, how humid it is, and how well your hens can handle the heat. And also on how far along the feather damage is on your hens' backs. My personal decision has been to saddle my hens in the heat. I think the risk of their backs getting injured is higher here than their risk for heat stroke. Although it does get very hot here and temperatures may go above 100 degrees. It's 105 degrees out and they're still on my lap. I do live in a very dry climate and I put misters on in my chicken runs and that always keeps them from getting overheated. However, if I lived in a very hot, humid climate, if I had breeds that did really poorly in the heat, I would not saddle my hens. But I also wouldn't let my hens be around roosters if the skin on their backs was exposed. So if they looked like this, either use some fencing to give that hen her own space within the run where the roosters can't get to her, or I would separate the roosters from the hens for a while until those temperatures came back down and I could get those saddles on. But if you do choose to saddle your hens in the summer, like I do, then you will definitely need to keep your eye out for signs that your hens are overheating. You can learn what those signs are in the simple test that I use to see if my chickens are too hot in this video here. Happy chickening.